Good night, guys. I'm tired. I'm gonna be it. Um, the night at I'm gonna lose my baby. You know, my lazy, my lazy thing that's on the line. Right? My lazy, I'm a tired. Like, it's hot. Well, mega big, guys. Mega big, mega big. Because if I'm not big, I'm not going to sleep. If I'm not big, I'm not going to sleep. Because the night is like extremely hot. But really and truly, I'm not going to talk long because my phone is on charge. I'm going to talk about two things. Two things in specific. One of them is, well, it's not gossip, to be honest. And a gossip. And it's about, I don't know how many of you have been, like, invested in YouTube, like, a long time like me. Like, to be honest, I think YouTube launched around 05, and I think that I got on YouTube, like, around 2011. When I say got on YouTube, like, started being subscribed to people's channel like i used to just come on youtube like prior to that to just listen to music like me like me never even know that there was a whole world for youtube where people have channel like the tutorials or whatever i didn't know that any of that was taking place so i just usually come on youtube when used to work plug in the earphone select my select a song or whatever and listen I think it's really around 2011 that I started to like subscribe to people's channel and started investing and you know take a note of what's going on so if I could really go back I think I would have started my channel from that time however when I first started taking YouTube serious I used to be subscribed to like a lot of the people that I used to be subscribed to they no longer do YouTube anymore they don't do YouTube anymore. Um, there was even this girl that I used to follow that I was subscribed to. She's a twin. She lives in Africa. She doesn't do YouTube anymore. I think at that time people were more doing YouTube for fun than now where people is actually just doing it for... Not that anything is wrong, but I think at that time people used to just see YouTube as a hobby or a pastime because a huge amount of the people that... I was subscribed to initially they don't do YouTube anymore. I think the only people that still does YouTube um, are like Pete Mill and It's My Rare, which I come to talk about. And even so, they still do YouTube but they don't do it as often. I think that when they got on YouTube it was just so fresh and original. I think they got the most out of YouTube. They got the most out of YouTube so they got like certain opportunities from early where they didn't have any time again to really post content as often as they used to but um what i love about those earlier set of youtubers is that they were more authentic and they kept it private to some extent and they kept it real and when i say private i think that they're just so more they're not problematic artists you see like oh no you have people coming on youtube you have all these couples channel back then people would feature their boyfriends here and there or if they feature them all the time it wouldn't be like a couples channel it would just be all natural authentic flow as opposed to now where it is you know a set thing you know it was just centered around you too and that is why i don't understand why when couples have a couple channel and they break up they tend to think that the internet shouldn't ask take for example beer and ken that is a channel that i've been invested in i mean they're younger i'm older i'm 33 they're in their 20s but i have been subscribed to that channel when i was in my early 20s as well late mid early 20s so I am still invested in that channel and I, I mean there have been plenty of rumors and speculations that they have um, separated and they don't see fit to come as a popular individual and address any rumor to their subscriber to say alright then you know this is what's happening we basically build a brand around ourselves so um, this is what's happening 
and what I like with it's my Riri. Initially being subscribed to her, it was no secret that she was married at a young age. I mean, she had her boyfriend and everything um, slash husband. Shannon eventually had a child, and it has never dawned on me until yesterday. I mean, I'm subscribed to her on YouTube and I also follow her on Instagram. But it's yesterday, Mr. Shiposa, um, a video of getting a tattoo on her finger of her daughter's name. And I mean, I always I see Ray Ray post on Instagram, I always I like and everything. But it's just yesterday when she made that post, like an instant light bell, light bell, light bulb went off in my head and I said, hold on. I've not seen Ray Ray post to their husband in a while, no. And let me tell you, Ray Ray is a big YouTuber. Ray Ray been on YouTube in forever. And I've never ever seen anybody, I have never seen anybody done any scoop on It's My Ray Ray relationship. I don't know if she and her husband are, separ are divorced and I, I clearly see that they separated because of course I'm human. So once the light, the light bulb they go off and I'm in instantly search her page, there was literally no post of her and her husband. I've managed to find one picture where she posted with her daughter where she had tagged him. When I went over to his page, there was completely no post with her or with her and him. And then while looking through his page, I realized that he has a new boo. And people, you know, of course, they're going to have comments and negativity. And I'm like, it made me feel so sad, but it made me feel happy at the same time because I'm like, I always wish like people could fall in love and stay in love forever but I've learned this concept from my uncle and I'm always said that he doesn't believe that no two people are no one person is meant for no one person you know what some people say oh we're meant to be I always say it doesn't feel like no one person is meant for anybody because we could have a we could have a thousand soulmate like there's billions of people in the world. Why we think say on go one person meant for we are we on go meant for one person. If inside if you check the levels, you could probably get along with twenty people even better. You understand? So I do believe that people grow apart and I think I mean I don't want to comment on anybody's relationship, but I think that's what happened with Ken and Dara. They were together from the so young and they basically grew apart and maybe that's what happened also with Riri and boys they were together from they were so young they grew apart i think that's what happened with um jay majet and her husband they were together for so long they grew apart and there's just a lot of things and i just don't see anything wrong with that i also heard wendy williams say that one time she don't believe that no two people should be no high school sweetheart i mean college is fine but high school sweetheart is like when you're together from when you're young it's just always on when you get to experience nobody else hell you not even get to experience on yourself it's just always you and that person maybe sometimes people need to break up go their separate ways and if it's meant to be then you find your way back but I was just like, this girl is just so, that is the definition of moving in silence. Like she's so out there and their business is just private. And with a separation like that, I find it okay because she never ever sent the earth channel around her and him. It was always about Riri, it was all about her makeup and her hair and whatever. It makes features here and there so... I don't really think that she needed to give anybody any, what I should say, notification or any announcement or any explanation that they, they broke up. But I just found it, I was just like, oh, Riri. I mean, at that era, the, the Riri and It's My Riri and Pete Mill era, it was all DIY, it was all hair, it was all makeup, which is cool. No. I mean, it's the prank era, it's a challenge era, and for me, I don't really have an 
area per se I do everything on my channel I just don't want to box myself in anything because my attention span very short <laughs> my attention span very short that's why sometimes when I come on to talk I'm like why am I this much talking like by the time the people watch a minute of this they might click off because I talk so much you know but I can't like queer myself or circle myself in just one area I just do everything but at that time it was a lit time and now it's a different time which is fine you know you have to move with the times it's just like music you know different type of music different era whatever so i don't know if anybody know it's my rare <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like I was, I was like, oh, they broke up. I mean, they have a daughter together, so I mean, it's cool, whatever, you know. And then also this other girl, Mary Jane. I, I spoke about her before on this channel. Um, I don't, I didn't even know that people were still talking about Mary Jane. To be honest, I mean, the last two videos that she uploaded, I saw a guy by the name of I think Troy where he did a video where he where in Palargo at Thailand wherever she is in actually book a ticket and show up and confront her and whatever and I'm just like I don't know like watching her is like I really can't wrap my head around the girl is like she has no personality it's like you know, when you're looking at somebody, and it's like there's no pupil. It's just like you have to wonder if the person is even real. I mean, we watch our last two videos, and especially the one where she did a live update talking. I'm like, she even believe herself? Like what she's saying? She even believe it because the questions that she says that people are asking her. I don't think nobody asked her those questions. I think majority of the questions that she would have gotten if she was doing a true q and a was about the people's money and she can act all she wants but the scandal of her being a scammer as i said i've not been i was never like a long time subscriber or follower of her but if she can if she's honest enough she can admit that the scandal have definitely affected her brand because i mean i'm no big i'm no youtuber i just come in front of my camera and talk they are youtubers they get the paid promotion their channel is monetized they have the to the mill the thousands of views and the hundreds of comments and these days her comments are sometimes like you can see that you definitely flesh it out because the comments are little to none so you know that it's what she allows you cannot see how many likes or dislikes her video um is getting these days um and their views like in comparison to before when she used to upload a video like her views have gone all the way down i mean we're a human if she had just come out and just do a video and just explain herself properly people human they are very gullible and forgiving i think that people would have listened to her and they would have given her a chance but the fact of the matter is she keeps on uploading with this nonchalant behavior and it's just not helping her it's not doing anything for her at all at all and it's like when she's even doing the videos it's like she almost cannot even look at herself in the camera so that's all i want to let's say i don't know i just get like i just get like all different types of vibe when watching her i'm just like i don't know but it's my ray ray though that's what i mainly came to um like talk about and today is wednesday tomorrow is thursday I need to get to my bed early tonight um, so I can wake up.